wearing it also. It is only one piece of bamboo. In our garden, we have thousands of sticks. So what is the big deal about only one piece? You can come and cut thousands of them. What can I do? My plan has failed. <laughs> oh, Radhe, I am burning in a fire of separation. I cannot live like this. I will have to come up with another idea. How can I enter Radhika's heavily guarded kunj? I know. I will dress as Shamli Saki and no one will recognize me. Oh, Sakis, 
He will never go to another Gopi. Come, let there be rest. to serve this Ras. Jai Dev Goswami Ki Jai! All dramas were on Nishingha the very go. But today Madhuri na Samapaye. Oh sweetest, sweetest. <laughs> I appreciate more his friend Sarup Damod. He can sing, <coughs> he can sing uh, Jadev Git Gobinda. Oh, very well, very well. Good melody. And Krishna. Played a very attractive role. Very beautiful and attractive. But Radhika more he how he stolen away his bansi. <laughs> and then <coughs> Krishna came in the form of Huh? Shamali Shaki. The role was very good. Very good. Oh, Radhika role. Very, very good. Ladita and Pishaka. Oh, so much. Chandra and Padma too. <laughs> very good. <coughs> I also appreciate your song, Krishna song. Of Bindaban, De Daruna Bansi Mary, very sweet. And Radhika, Kahase Bajau, the Hatse Bajau, Allah, Hatse Bajau, Lokudisa Lauga, a very beautiful, like Indian song. So, very attractive. Only there was some lacking of dancing, Ras. <laughs> so next time you will see. So my blessings, you should be happy and follow the instructions of Krishna and Radhika, Git Govinda. How he was observed, his life soul was for Krishna. Go Pramananda. Hare Krishna. So go Saran Prabhu, he can do it. Instructions to us. Or and teach us also. <laughs>
This year we were going to meet in Gurudev's room, but suddenly uh, was changed so that everyone else could participate in this moment we share with Srila Gurudev. I just want to give, for those who are not familiar with the school, a little bit of the history of it. Uh, in 1998, I believe it was, in 97 anyway, Srila Gurudev, um, uh, Gopanandini and myself uh, went in to see Guru, Srila Gurudev and we had a plan of what we were going to do with our lives and, and Srila Gurudev gave his blessings and we went outside and then someone said, hey Vijayananda, what Gurudev is saying, why don't you do a school? So we ran back in and Gurudev said, uh, we said, Gurudev, do you want us to do a school? And he said, yes. So that was the beginning of a whole uh, change in life for both of us by Gurudev's causeless mercy. I once said to him in the airport, Gurudev, I feel very fortunate to have a connection with you in service. And he looked at me and said, you're right. So, <laughs> so I, am, I am very fortunate. It's the fast lane for seeing you in Arthur's if you want to do that. But um, we're now entering into a whole new phase. We've been very fortunate to have... More longer. We've been very fortunate that some very beautiful children have been sent to us by Srila Gurudev and now some of them are in college, some of them are being trained by Shamarani, Premananda Prabhu and others traveling with sannyasis. But now all of a sudden everything is changing. In 1997 Gurudev said once, Badger will be the center of his worldwide mission. And I went to speak to Gurudev and I said, Gurudev, Badger? Because until then people called Badger Rattlesnake Gulch or things like this. And and said, yes, that's right. And then he said, and the school will be a big part of it. And now, everything is starting to unfold, and it's almost inconceivable how it is. Gurudev has arranged for us by his causeless mercy to be here. Personally, I feel that everything is changing. I still feel like Buck the Bob. But, but somehow or other, Gurudev has said, so much help will be coming now. So that's an invitation for anyone who feels... They have some skills or things they, they can offer. This has to be a, a cultural presentation, a full-scale education with, with the arts, spiritually, emotionally, academically, and completely unqualified, but we want to, to by the desire of Gurudev, see that our children get the best possible education in all aspects of their life. So we need help, and Gurudev said it will come, so how it will unfold, we'll see by his desire. Generally, this time, we introduce everyone. If you'd like, I can introduce the children and the teachers. Good day. This is where I usually completely uh, make a fool of myself. <laughs> uh, 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 hello. Well, we have our to do, um, <laughs> which I completely forgot about. Can we? Uh, uh, where's Prem Padi? Prem, we can do our tea today. Please forgive me. I'm such a Wonderful person. <laughs> okay. Um, Madhukar, you can lead. Okay. Shri Sadma Shri Kete 
First, I'd like to introduce the teachers who are working so hard to fulfill Gurudev's desire. We have, starting with our, uh, our youngest, Jai Shri Devi Dasi. She's such a qualified teacher that actually her, te her student got the Student of the Year Award this year for being such a good student. She's so diligent and so expert in teaching her, uh, our children and also helps so much with Takuji Seva and so many things. Um, her husband what Kishore... Is doing? Huh? What Janava is doing? Janava is learning. She just took the high school exit exam and her scores in the high school exit exam were so high that uh, no one, she got almost perfect score. That's an exam that you have to take before you can leave high school and go to college. Um, Kishore Prabhu. Where is Kishore? Kishore Prabhu. We were able to avail ourselves of all the training he had in India as a young Guru Kul student. He's been teaching shlokas, madanga, Hindi, and now, he's, as a young grahasta, he's also taking responsibility for the bhakti store, through which, on the internet, people can purchase things related to your books and other devotional items. He's doing a really nice job with everybody. Uh, Radhika Devi Dasi is a great blessing that you've sent to us, Gurudev. She gives so much love and affection to these children. We just did a program in Houston, which she organized, and now children from Houston are writing to us how much they, they want to be devotees, they're listening to the CDs we gave them, writing friendly letters to us, asking us to please write back. And this is largely due to the way she organized that whole program, and the children here feel the same way about her. My blessings. Then we have Chapaklata, who uh, for one year was with us, but did such a wonderful job because of her heart connection with you, Gurudev. Everyone around her feels more conscious of you. And so she taught the fifth grade this year and did such a wonderful job with some of the children that we're going to be sad to see her leave, and me especially on a personal level, to see Pran and Chapak leave. But they did such a wonderful job in bringing your mood into the school this year. Nitya Manjari Didi, who has been the rock of uh, our academic program here for so many years, for so many years steady in her service, dedicating herself to the children, teaching the, sometimes the most difficult children, but getting it through to them that they, they're, what they had to learn. And she's also an amazing baker, as everyone who's been at the festival can tell. Gopanandini, uh, probably there wouldn't be a school that has lasted this long without Gopa's influence in the background. And her input, first of all, now she's uh, taking care of the Takujis that have come from Los Angeles. She's cooking lunch and setting such a nice standard of prasadam. Uh, she's um, also come up with a module, a, a model of academics that will be used from future schools all over that's been approved by, um, what's the name of that, Mahabudi Prabhu in Florida that will be implementing this coming year. So our academic standard will be fully in line with the state of California and also very highly developed. <laughs> and she's also very expert at keeping me in line. <laughs> Also, we want to express some appreciation to so many devotees, but just Nanda is not here today, but Nanda always does so many things to serve all the devotees. He's always so helpful. <laughs> yes, um, and uh, there's too many other devotees, too numerous to thank, but especially Nanda, he's always on the property, always doing something, driving somebody here, doing something, helping. He did the treasury for part of the year. And a special mention to Man Mohan Prabhu, who, Man Mohan Prabhu, who set up a... Um, uh, format for us to do all our treasury work, and they worked very hard at doing it, so I went to us as well. And now for the children. Um, we'll start with the youngest. 
Um, there's little Kishore, is he here? The littlest, the littlest Kishore, even the littlest one. Is he here yet? Where's Kaliya Krishna Prabhu? He's our newest student, Gurudev. Little Kishore in the back there. And look, Kishore, real loud, who's your favorite person except for Gurudev in the whole world? Um, Hanuman! <laughs> if all of us adults talked about Krishna as much as he talked about Hanuman, we'd be all effulgently glowing at every moment. Okay, and then we have another Kishore. This, this is Kishore, this is the son, I got it right this year, this is the son of Anuradha and the grandson of Pran Kishore and, and um, Champakalata. And <laughs> under the able teaching of Jai Sri this year, he's progressed so much in his academics. Actually, really, he's become such a good student, he actually likes school, which is really... <laughs> Offer your obeisances to Gurudev. And then... His older sister, Janavi, Devi Dasi. As I said, she was the student of the year this year because she worked so hard in her academics and covered all of her work. She's also the offspring of Anuradha and the granddaughter of Champaklata and Prankishura. And she has a verse to say for you, Gurudev. To those who are constantly devoted and worship me with love, I give the understanding by which they can come to me. Uh, some of our students are not here because either they had to leave early or they just didn't make it. So there's a few that won't be called on today. One of them is um, one of them is Ram, the Kunjus boy Ram, who really had a good year this year. And he's he's back in England now, but uh, um, just wanted to mention him and acknowledge him. Then we have uh, Kadi Farna. Where is Kadi Farna? He is the son. Uh, Kaliya Krishna Prabhu and Kalindi Devi Dasi and stand up, come. and the brother of Hanuman Bhakta there, I'm not too sure. And uh, he also has a verse to recite for Guru Dev, the devotees. Tadvidi Pranin Patena Pari Prashnena Sevayam Upadekshanti Teganam. Yaninas Tatva Darshina, just try to learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master. Inquire from him submissively and render service unto him. The self realized soul can impart knowledge unto you because he has seen the truth. And then Vishnu Priya Devi Dasi, the daughter of our teacher, Nityananjari. If one offers me with love and devotion, a leaf, a flower, fruit, or water, I will accept it. Chao here. Chao is the daughter of Karunamayi and Pandvalava Prabhu. And this is her first year with us. And she's made it a very exciting year in many ways. You got it, Tom. We say now, Chuck Susha, Pavishayatom, Sunyayam, Jagatsarvam, Govinda, Vehaname, O Govinda, feeling your separation, I'm considering one moment to be like 12 years or more. Tears are flowing from my eyes like torrents of rain, and I'm feeling all vacant in the world of your absence. Next we have is um, Hari Prabhu, the son of Radhakanti, who is famous all over Vrindavan for his, uh, but he's such, actually, a really good boy. He's very intelligent. He's a little naughty, and Gurudev asked me in Houston, how's he doing? 
I said, oh, he's a little naughty, Gurudev, and I was about to say, but he's really sweet, and Gurudev said, he will be very nice to vote. Brahm Ras Niryas Kurita Sulam Ragamar Bhakti Loke Kurita Pracharam Rasika Shaka Krishna Parama Karuna Edui Heto Hote Chara Gama. The Lord's desire to appear in this world was born from two reasons. The first reason was to taste the sweet essence of Brahm Ras, and the second reason was to preach Raganuga Bhakti to the living entities in this world. Thus, he is known as the topmost relish of Brahm Ras and the supremely merciful. After Girid Hari is Janak Prabhu. He's also the son of Kalindi and Kaliya Krishna Prabhu. Krishna Varam Disha Krishna Sangu Pangu Strapashadam Yaki Sankirtana Prayas Yajanti Sumidasa In the age of Kali Krishna appeared with a golden complexion. He is constantly singing the two syllables Krishna, and he is accompanied by his Angas, Upangas, Varsharat, and his weapon of Harinam, which destroys ignorance. Intelligent people worship him by the Sankirtan Yajna. Janak is a perfect gentleman in his behavior, and he's just a real gentleman. He's very, uh, he's very special quality. Thank you. Next we have Srivas Prabhu. He is the son of Aniruddha and Yashoda Priyat Dasi. And uh, he, he has somehow or other brought into this life a very developed service attitude. Whatever he does, he does diligently, carefully, so nicely, and without even sometimes having to be asked, he'll just come forward, which is a rare, rare quality, especially in Kali Yuga. Chaitanya Prabhum Vande Palopi Adanugraha Taranamata Graha Yaptam Sadanta Sagaram. I offer my obeisances to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by whose mercy even an ignorant child can swim across the ocean of conclusive truth, which is filled with the crocodiles of various theories. I just want to mention that a lot of these older the verses that the older children are saying in particular has been taught to them regularly by Kishore Prabhu. So. Um, next we have now, um, uh, Ram. Big Ram. We have a little Ram and a big Ram. Big Ram is the son of Kunti. Sounds like the Bhagavad Gita. Or son of Kunti. And also the grandson of Nihari Prabhu and Babaturini Dasi, and uh, he's got a verse to chant today. <laughs> The holy names and pastimes of Sri Krishna are like transcendental sugar candy, but one afflicted by the jhanas of Vidya ignorance cannot relish um, these names. They cannot relish the sweet taste of these names. But um, by gradually and carefully chanting these holy names, one can uh, relish will awaken within the heart, and the disease will gradually be destroyed at the root. <laughs> Okay, next is uh, Naratam Prabhu. Naratam is the son of Swati Didi and Manmohan Prabhu. And the, the main thing I could say about Naratam is he's so easy to like and love. <laughs> he's a good boy, and in spite of himself, he's always truthful. <laughs> If you worship Navadip, then you also worship the forest of Braj. If you do not worship Navadip, the forest of Braj is very far away. If you worship Lord Chaitanya, you also worship Radha and Krishna and Braj. If you not, do not worship Lord Chaitanya, you can never worship Radha and Krishna. <laughs> Our next devotee is Prem Padipabu. 
the son of Gokomendini. I'm only mentioning his positive Sukriti here. Samsara dukha jaladau patitasya kama kroda dina kramaharai kavali kritasya durvasana nigaritasya nirashrayasya Chaitanya Chandra Mama Dehi Padavalambam. O Chaitanya Chandra, trapped in the evil net of material existence, I have fallen into an ocean of misery where I am being devoured by the crocodiles and sharks of various, of lust, anger, and greed, and so on. Please give this destitute person who is chained to wicked desires the shelter of your lotus feet. After that, we have uh, Radha Dasi. She's the daughter of the Dini Shakti. And she's been here now for one year, and she's been such a delight to have and watch her uh, grow and develop here. And we're all so happy that she's with us. Very sweet person. <laughs> Having forgotten Krishna, the jiva has been attracted by Maya since time immemorial. Therefore, Maya gives him all kinds of misery in his material existence. Our next devotee is Janava Devi Dasi, uh, the daughter of Shamala Didi and Tirtha Padaprabhu. And uh, everyone knows Shamala, she's wonderful. <laughs> She sings wonderfully, and she's also as, as sweet as she is. What did I say? That's wrong. Shamala too is very sweet. She's sweet on the outside and sweet on the inside. Mukham karoti vachalam panghung nangayate giram yatkripa tamaham vande shi gurang dhanataranam. I offer my respectful obeisances unto my spiritual master, the deliverer of all fallen souls whose mercy turns the dumb into eloquent speakers and enables the lame to cross mountains. And last, but definitely not least, is Govinda, Govinda Snell. She's the daughter of uh, Nanda Gopal Prabhu and Manju Vasini, and such a, such a deep person. She has so much depth inside, but she's never doesn't show it off, but inside she's catching everything and noticing everything. Very sweet and very compassionate. Very compassionate. Krishna Bhakti Rasabhavita Mati Kriyatam Yadi Kutopilam Yate Tachalor Yamapi Mulya Mekalam Janma Koti Sukriter Nalam Hite Pure devotional service in Krishna consciousness cannot be had even by pious activities in hundreds and thousands of lifetimes. It can only be had by paying one price, that is, the intense greed to obtain it. If it is available somewhere, one must purchase it without delay. And, and lastly, I want to acknowledge the devotees who have graduated from our school but are always around helping us, and, and, and like Kishori, and KK, Krishna Kanti, Damodar, Madhuka, and whenever he's around also, uh, your brother's been gone so long, I forget his name. Rasik Mohan Prabhu, and Nichit Nichinanda Jones, Radha Priya, all of these wonderful devotees, if I'd left anybody out, forgive me. But they're always helping us in so many ways. They come back and they don't leave, and they come back, and it's very, and, and if Kirtan and Shravan were here, I'd thank them too. Kirtan and Shravan. Those are our first students, so. <laughs> and thank you so much, Guru Dave. Especially we want to thank you for, I want to thank you for taking a very crazy, fallen person, giving him some service. Uh, like Prabhupada used to say, uh, he used to cook the feast, he used to clean the temple, he used to serve out the feast, he'd give a class, and then he'd say, thank you very much. <laughs> so sometimes you thank us, but you're creating us out of a pile of ashes. And all we can do is offer our obeisances to you and pray for your continued mercy. Shri the Guru This is something that was done by our entire school, Guru Dev, we'd like to present to you. Jai Shri has organized it and put it together. It's a quilt, and every devotee and teacher has added one little part to this thing. And, uh... 
Someone can help Jai Shree lift it. It's a quilt, and it's for you, Gurudev. And without Jai Shree, it would never have been done. Thank you so much. We should, we should have a great round of applause and Hari Bo for Brajendra Nanara Prabhu. He's worked so hard and put so much of his time and effort into the Gurukula. Sometimes when they're lacking funds, he goes out in the parking lots and, and collects money, begs to, for donations for the school. I've worked in Gurukulas before and I know it's a thankless task working with Gurukula. So we thank all the devotees for working so diligently and so with so much sincerity and devotion to help our children. I'm very happy that Guru. <coughs> Training is given to a students. Rajanandan Prabhu and his wife. Oh, that what name? Gopanandini and she and all are very qualified, especially Rajanandan Prabhu. I am happy that here. They are studying school slavers, but all, also they are giving train, training to do good moral character. This is not given in any other schools. Good character is also needed. So I'm happy that everything is given. Also, art that we saw, this training also is given. Now I think, as I was thinking, that this should, school should be ideal, not like a school, Gurukul. So I think that this is school is going an ideal way and we want to continue this thing. I also am very happy that now this school has its own building and everything. I want that after some days when financial will be okay. A boarding, a guest room, a special school also for so many classes should be there. I think now our Radha Kant Prabhu, Yasoda uh, and so many Sajjan Maharaj and so many are giving attention to this school. So I think very soon all this will be completed. And thus I think that more a student, not only 30, 40, I want that 100, 200, 300 boys should come from every part of the whole world. And there should be moral as students and very qualified. I have heard that this is a school. The boys are in top in examination. So I am very happy. I pray God, Krishna, that the school should maintain its ideal and go on. And so many boys, I request fathers and mothers to send their children here 
they will be very qualified, no doubt. What more? Gaur Premada. Now Kirtan.
Yeah. 